I'll be very brief, and then I, maybe we can make it a shared discussion. We live in a hierarchical society that is at war with each other, and I accept the terms of that war. I'm not going to make believe that we are right now in a, an emancipated society where we can go by the regulative ideals that many of us have advanced right now. The point is we have to be very conscious of them, and I think Lao Tzu puts it very well. If you're a general, and I don't like generals, needless to say, don't go through the battlefield with exultance. Go through with a sense of mourning. It may be necessary to deal with people who are, are not very loving types, if I may put it mildly, and it may be necessary to deal with them in a manner that is not very loving, but let's not make a virtue out of it. A virtue out of it. Let us not make a virtue out of it. And uh, that's about, I can say a lot, but that's about all I'd like to say, because I'd like to say, hear what other people have to say. Uh, can, uh, you know, I, I sense that a few people are asking that it be suggested what kind of political forms to immediately undertake. In other words, what to do. You know, like leaving this room, what do you do next? And uh, I've, I've been refraining from talking about my pet, what to do next. And I'm sure some other people have too. I'd, I'd like to keep the, the borders more elastic than that just for this session, if that's all right with people. I, it might be uh, presumptuous to uh, start asking uh, Murray, for example, or any of us, exactly what should you do next, right? But rather to think about what are the things that whatever you do might accomplish. I mean, I would like to use this session for that. It seems to be cast over in that direction. I, I think uh, that, you know, we're facing a period in history that, that has a lot of similarity to the period of the Weimar Republic in Germany. I think everybody notices that. And, and it's also important to point out that it is not the same. Um, but it doesn't mean that it's better that it's not the same because, you know, history repeats itself and then it doesn't repeat itself because everything is unique. Um, but I, I think that, that, that it is important to take a kind, to, to have a kind of a long view about what's happening, to, to realize that this thing called the moral majority now, and now it's going to call itself, what was that again? That's so shocking. Populist party, that's, ter you know, it's, that's really what Orwell's, uh, what a double think, isn't it? Really, right there. But, but that, yeah. But uh, you know, to 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 realize that this is a, a continuation of a movement that has been going on, you know, uh, throughout this century, since the beginning of the century, since before the beginning of the century, and that and that it has a, it has evolved, but it's the same continuation, and that it is it is moving in a way in reaction to. Uh, the, mo the movements which I feel probably most of us in this room identify with and feel we're part of, which existed in the Weimar, too. You know, the uh, movements for ecology, movements for feminism, uh, movements putting bi mind and body together, you know, anarchism, socialism, sexual, all, all, liberation. sexual liberation, all of, all of these things woven together. And we're, we're concerned really with the same kind of liberations now and refining them. And, you know, I feel that in one in one psyche, that when these, when we start to put together, when we start to put together the things that have been divided, when we start to take away the division of gender, for instance, or the division of race, uh, we take the division away from nature and culture, and we admit that we are, in fact, dependent on this biosphere. We're, we're you know, we're like raccoons, and then we, you know, we're like, we have to go around and. and forage and we and we breathe the air that's given us and we're part of the biosphere we are not controlling it that that that's that's terrifying and these movements that break down the borders break down the system uh, the delusionary system of control that we've had all this time that we believe that we can control everything and they're very controlling movements that paramilitary movement so that I think that it that for, for me um, one of the ways that that the traditional, you know, Murray's talked about the, the way that, le that leftist politics has, you know, come up with words like proletarian vanguard and strategy and tactics. And I think there's a, there, that this is, this, is a, this is important to look at and there's a way that leftist politics has also taken on a kind of a, um, a kind of a, a, combat, a, 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 a combat mindset 
Now, and I'm, and I, you know, I'm saying this, and I'm, and I, and at the same time, I'm not saying that we shouldn't fight. And I don't know. I wish there were a better word. I wish we had a word, not because I, I think that it's that that I'm afraid to use the word fight because I want everything to be su sweetness and light, but because the word fight has a historical connotation, it has limitations around it, and we don't have this new language yet for something else that we can do. That obviously is going to uh, involve courage, and it's going to, in going to involve very clear thinking, and and it's going to involve something that looks like combat at certain points, but but something more there, you know, that that because we have a deeper understanding now, we have lived through these years. I mean, you know, for God's sake, the Holocaust, uh, the, the the bombing of Hiroshima, um, the 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 uh, the the radiation that has been planted all over the world. I mean. We have not, th th these have been horrors that, that we have experienced in this century, but we also have knowledge from those events. We know more now. And one of the things we know more is that those people in those movements are responding very rigidly out of fear. And that fear gets translated very quickly into hatred and it rigidifies. Now what we do with this, I'm not sure. I'm, I'm not saying I know the answer, but I know that whatever answer is gonna work for me at this point in the full integrity of my being has got to incorporate that knowledge. <coughs> you know, uh, all of our knowledge that we have at this point. All right, let's